is Dave Ciccone from Stay Connected with EVs, and today I have a special bike here. It's the Unero Spectre S. This bike is unique, and why it makes it unique is it has a little higher of a price tag, and what we're going to do is we're going to take it out on our course that we always go for all our mountain bikes, which I think is a good test to put it through. This bike retails for $3,799. Um, I will discuss some of my thoughts in the ride, but overall Unirao was nice enough to send us this bike and and honestly I was a little taken back with how big this bike is. Um, I've driven the Five Star, the Super Monarch. Um, I can tell you these tires are probably the biggest tires that I've rode on. It is a little different. It does take time to get used to. It does not feel the greatest on the road. Uh, just because it, 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 they're, they're meant for off-road tires. Um, it does have a Bafang 1000 watt motor, which, what can you say? It's a mid-drive motor, which is over here. But again, I'm not gonna get into specs. What I'm also excited about is we're coming on a huge milestone here at Stay Connected with EVs, and that's 100,000 subscribers. And I can't tell you how excited I am about that. I started this channel almost 20 years ago, and it was all about technology. It was mobile technology. I was in that for around 10 years. And during that time, YouTube wasn't anything that generated ads and it was just used to upload video and to store it. Why I'm bringing this up is, is that, you know, I made a decision around the year 2000 to just stop. And I can't thank enough, uh, you know, October, November of 2023, I had a vision for electric vehicles. I love, you know, driving electric cars. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a bike company send me a bike, which um, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, wow, this sounds interesting. And that company was one bot and that was my first bike review. And it wasn't really that far long ago, but it really showed my passion and, and really drove me to where I see a huge amount of fun as a community this community has been fantastic so coming on this milestone so quickly with this channel tells me there's so much opportunity for us to learn more about vehicles scooters i haven't even talked about my e-ride pro you know there's so many things i have things with segway that i'm working on with their with their uh mowers electric remote mowers that are it's all electric there's a lot to go, and I just hope you all enjoy the ride. Also, huge shout out to Tapia Seats down in North Carolina. They, I, they're, they're, this is not a sponsored ad or anything. I saw what Tapia does. I've seen what they're doing with Ghost Cat and with E-Ride. They make custom seats and they do beautiful work. Um, and as many of you know, I usually wear a, a winter hat and the hat is, was actually Ride One Up's hat. And as we're getting into the summer, I told Tapia's that I would love to be wearing their hat because I love small businesses. I love helping small businesses get their exposure out. So ch check them out at Tapia Seats. They're down in North Carolina. They have a huge range of options also. Um, and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Let's take a look at the 2024 Unirao Spectre S. The bike retails for $3,799. It also offers a 48 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery with a powerful 1000 watt mid-drive buffang motor this motor packs a huge punch with over 160 newton meters of torque along with a speed in excess of 28 miles an hour depending on your road conditions along with your range which is 80 miles again depends on rider weight the incline and so forth max weight of the rider is 300 pounds with a max height of rider between five foot three inches tall to six foot four inches tall. Your front and rear brakes are hydraulic brakes along with an LED front light and rear brake light along with a C8 cushioned wide seat which we truly enjoy. Your tires are Kenda Juggernaut tires which we see on many of the bikes out there. As you can see the cartridge is 10 gears along with your center shock, which is a DNM. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the linkage on that actual center shock. It looks really well. You can also see the really nice weld marks and everything on this bike is superior. 
We're really enjoying the C8 seat. Uh, it is uh, Unirail branded, but we truly know which seat this is. Over here, you can see the rubber grips, which I thought were really good. They do give you an option. If you want, you can add mirrors on the side. I'm not sure many people are doing that on a mountain bike. There's your throttle along with your pedal assist adjustments, your light, your power, and your information on the Bafang computer, as we can see right here. We're, we're pretty used to this. Uh, we've seen this in many bikes, and uh, it's no different than any other one that we've seen. You can also see your SRAM gear shifter. Again, unbranded on the brakes. Not sure if that I'm a big fan of that, but overall, it's a really nice setup and very comfortable while you're running. And we are off on the Anora Spectre S 2024 model. Um, today is a special day for all of you veterans. Um, ultra special for me, as I have family members, current and previous, that serve this country of the United States of America. And I, uh, what a better thing to do than to go out and ride a bike. And not only that, not only ride a bike, but to share with all of you and go over my impressions of the Spectre S and honestly kind of go over some of the things that I have noticed about this bike. And I'm gonna take this off here because I just wanna take a look at this beautiful water. Um, so when we look at the Spectre S, there's a couple different things that are new for me. First being, it has the Bafang mid-drive motor. The Bafang mid-drive motor, I have to say, it takes you a little bit of time to get used to it. It doesn't, for me, it doesn't feel the same, like, it doesn't feel as natural as I would like this to feel, if that makes sense. Um, for me, mostly everything is more around, obviously, all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive motor. Let's see if we can get up this. You know, and yeah, not even a problem on this bike. Not even a problem, let's go off this. Yeah, this bike is a beast. Um, you know, everything with the mid-drive, to be honest with you, is a little bit of getting used to. And I, I'm not saying it as a knock, what I'm saying it as is you have to, you have to respect the power. And when I say respect the power, you have a mid-drive motor, so a lot of the power and the torque is coming by your pedals. And it does feel a little bit different. And I, I, I would say that was the first thing that I noticed. Now, I wanna do something here because this is something special for today being Memorial Day weekend. And I've taken you here before. Let's just take it here and... Just uh, pay some respects. Because a lot of people who are veterans now fought for this incident. So it's gonna take a moment of silence. And if you read the memorial, there are two ways of exerting one's strength. One is pushing down, the other is pulling up. Booker T. Washington. And uh, this by far is one of the beams that came from 9-11. And uh, it's, it's, it's sad, and, but it also shows a time when the United States became united around one, one issue. So here we're taking a look at the Spectre S. Now, some of the areas that I was talking about, right? So on the actual rotor, it's 180 millimeters. I, I would like to see 203. Um, the brakes, Anora brakes, I probably would have rathered, obviously more of a name brand. But again, like I said, the tires, the, the rims, you know, if you look at it, and actually you can see the, uh, the tube underneath it. 
right? The shocks I already spoke about. And then you can take a look at the mid-drive motor here. But the design, I, I really like. The DNM center, center um, shock works very, very well. I would probably say that's saving this bike on the suspension side. I think that really does a nice job on that side. Here is the C8 seat, as I said to you, and I'll show you. You can see the shocks on that. Now, SRAM, derailleur, eh, I, I, I you know, it works. D don't get me wrong, I have had zero problems. So maybe sometimes less is better, and I will give it that. The linkage here, great job. Great job. This works really, really nice. It's solid, it doesn't rattle. That's the one thing about this bike. It doesn't rattle. There, there is not one piece on this bike that rattles. It's probably one of the quietest mountain bikes that I've driven, but it also is one of the biggest. So now we are on a gravel course, I guess you would say. And uh, this is really, like I said, just outstanding views and I have to say like probably one of the most enjoyable places to come around here so we're going to take this off road now all right and here we go let's we'll see how this works now right now I have it at level five we've got some bumps here I'm trying to see which way I want to go I'm going to go down this way Again, this is a new course for me, just because I wanted to kind of go through the gravel first and then get through here, but I, I'm gonna tell you what I've seen with this bike. Those roots, it eats it up. I mean, there's like nothing. It just, I don't feel anything between the DNM shock, the, the C8 seat, Look at this, it's like, this is actually, you're getting, you know, my impressions here, and this is awesome. I mean, I have absolutely no feeling. I mean, the like normally when I hit these, like it hits me hard, and those are not small. Like right now, since I slowed down, but now, going back up usually when you hit those you don't move and uh this bike is tearing up these these bumps with no problem now again i hope i don't get a flat because if i do i'm going to be pretty much stuck in the middle of nowhere now this is the problem here because now we're going up i'm going to have to walk this one up because it's still a little wet And let's see, come through here. That noise did not make me feel good whatsoever. But who cares, let's go. Now I'm not sure, oh, there. maybe this is why it was shut off because <laughs> that's a nice drop. Wow, that is a drop. We just won't look that way. Now the park does a good job with making sure a lot of this, see this is probably the best to go this way. Yeah, this is probably done this way for a reason because I think they had so much rain and you can see it's all tied off now so i'm going to bring it up this way let's see some of these areas for this big bike also it's hard for me to get through let's see yeah there it goes i don't want to go deeper into it but i also We'll go this way. That's a big rock. And 
Again, no problems. There's another big rock. A lot of rocks here, as you can see. And we're just going right through it like it's nothing. Lots of wildlife. What else can you ask for? So what do I think of the Enoro Spectre S? This is the 2024 refresh model. I was lucky enough to be one of the first to get to review this bike. Now, there are some really good things I love about this bike. And then there's some things that are a little concerning to me that I think that they could fix overall over time. Some of the things I really liked about this bike, which how can you not, is the Bafang mid-drive motor. The Bafang mid-drive motor delivers 1,000 watts with over 160 newton meters of torque, which really packs a punch. The other thing that I think they should just normally do, this seat that they bundle in is a must buy. This is the C8 seat. It makes this ride enjoyable off-road. You could tell during my off-road, this bike was eating up those roots like it was nothing. Hands down right now for me, this has been the best off-road experience so far that I've had on a mountain bike. Yes, I've done the mock wheel. I've done so many different bikes that are, you know, the event in Rambless. But what I like about this is this really has those big tires. A lot of the mountain bikes that I've tested prior aren't even near as cl uh, close to how wide these tires are. And they deliver a really nice smooth ride. And I really enjoy it. The other thing that I really like is this design. I mean, this frame is absolutely beautiful. Now, everyone, my wife jokes with me, I always get a black frame. But the reason why I do it is, is a multitude of different things. It shows really well on camera. Now, yes, could I get a red and so forth? So let me know down below what color you would like me to get. But I really like black. It is always my favorite color. And it is a very safe color to go with. If down the road you want to sell a bike, you can actually, obviously, it's one of those neutral colors that many people will buy. The other thing that I like is their support has been really good with me. Now, again, it's hit or miss depending on time of season, but I have had no issues with them being responsive. Actually, I put our code, so just so everyone knows, there is a 5% off discount code with code SCEV, and I put it in my cart, and I started putting my information in, and you want to know what? The next day I got a call from their sales rep saying, hey, I saw you had it in the cart. Can I answer any questions you might have? You know, I saw you had it in there. You know, I like it. I, I, I do. I think that's a really nice touch. If a customer puts their name in there, then they don't check out. Following up with them is a good idea. Now, some of the things that are a little concerning to me, and one of them being the battery. And why I say the battery is, is I've driven, I think it was eight and a half miles on this, you know, on this so far. And right now it shows I'm at 41%. Now, yes, it has the Bafang mid-drive motor, 1,000 watts, 160 newton meters of torque. I get it. But I can tell you I did not feel comfortable going further in that, coat, in that trail today. I, I just didn't because I didn't want to get stuck. And then I had to lug this, very, you know, this bike. This bike weighs around 85 pounds, which isn't bad, but it's an awkward size. And, and really, it's not something that you want to be pushing down the road. The other thing that I wasn't a big fan of is the front shocks and the front bra and the brakes. Um, they're, they're Noro brakes, they're not, they're no name brakes. And on the shocks, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of, you know, no name front shocks. The center, center shock here for DNM, great. But the front, I think ultimately I would love to see Rock Shocks on there or another brand, but it does its purpose. Now, if you listen to my review while I was off road here, I told you I loved how the ride and I, I truly believe the reason why a lot of it is the DNM and the C8 seat taking a lot of that impact and compensating for the front fork. So that's the other thing. There, there are some other areas that personally I, I talked about. I did have a little issue in the front rotor that I had to replace, but again, they stood by their product and they replaced it and they refunded, excuse me, they refunded me my money without even shipping me out. Now, I don't recommend go running out doing it, but just shows you that they stand behind their brand. One of the areas that I did not talk about today that I really, I, I did like a lot, these grips are awesome. 
I mean, when I was off road today, I truly felt really stable. And you know, there's some grips that have that extra rubber where your hands sink in. And then when you're sweating, it, it's not a good thing. And it, it really makes it more slippery. And I, I don't like it. So hats off to them about that. Also, the thumb throttle is in a really good spot. Um, it's, it actually is very, very responsive. And that mid-drive motor is really where a lot of this money on this bike is. So overall, what do I think? I think you, when this, if this bike goes out on sale, which I'm sure it will, this could be a very interesting buy for you. At $3,799 and then minus the 5% discount with our code with SEEV, to me, it's still around $3,600. It's still a tough buy for me at that price point. But if we get this bike down around, I would say like 29, 28, it could be very interesting. I can tell you this, if I were to pick any bike that I have driven and I wanted to go off road, this is the bike I'd go right now with, right now. I would go with this. This is the best off-road bike that I've driven, but the battery was concerning to me. Now, I will update this review if they get back to me and they tell me, hey, we wanna swap out a battery for you. But right now, those are my concerns. As I said, I always wanna be upfront with all of you. Um, I would love to hear your feedback down below. You know, what you liked about this bike. There's been so much great communication in the comments below. We also still have a giveaway. We got like seven days left <laughs> on my VMAX scooter. We're giving away a $50, $50 Amazon gift card. And we're gonna do something big for our 100,000th subscriber. And what I'm gonna challenge you is, if you get that 100,000th review, if you take a screenshot, and I'm gonna know if it's you or not, the person who gets the 100,000th subscriber, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a $100 gift card. But you have to prove it. And there's multiple ways you can prove it. You could, you could either take a quick video, upload it to YouTube, but again, I've got to make sure it was you because I can't get six people with 100,000 subscribers. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this review. I had a blast today, Memorial Day. It was a great, great day. And I was able to drive this beautiful Enora Spectre S bike. With that, you have an awesome day. You have a great week and take care.